everyone, Yvette here from Together Sisters Create. I have a junk journal for you that I made with a digital download and I got the link for the digital download on um, the Facebook page, Junk Journal Junkies. And I will put the link of the description in my video if you are interested. I bought it, I don't know if it's still on sale, but I paid $6.41 Canadian for it. So, and the download had about 25 pages. And my journal measures about five and a quarter, seven and a half. And I put some ribbon on it because uh, the way that I did my, my cover, it cracked quite a bit. So I'll show you guys um, why it cracked and um, maybe you guys can have a better solution. I'm new at these junk journals, so um, I'm not an expert by any means, but I'll just show you what I prefer. My closure is an elastic, and because it's thin, I doubled it up, and it opens like this, and I have a cover here. I'm not sure if this was meant for the cover or if it's meant to um, put as backing on your pages, but I did stamping on the back and I printed these on regular cardstock, scrapbooking cardstock. Um, and then I still used my uh, coffee stain papers in here. So this is a dictionary page. This is a cutout from the, the digital download. These are journaling cards from Project Life. And I came across a stamp for coffee staining, so I did coffee stain or ink the uh, stain on top of the coffee stain. That's lined paper. There's another download. And I added some ribbon and some crochet flowers from my stash. I added a stamp here. This is a page from a book, graph paper more of the download. <clears throat> this is a notepad from Michaels. I bought it a few years ago. Some music sheets. And this is some um, stationary paper. And this is from the digital download. I used the, um, the stitch for this was the uh, daisy stitch. And then I added some seam binding on some paper clips. This was I think it's supposed to be a tag, but I kind of folded it on one side and then the other. Here's a, t it's a tuck spot, and here it kind of is a tuck spot, but acts as a tab. Another stamp. Some digital download. Extra papers. Stamped a bird on the top here. Beautiful images. This is another tag, but I just, um, instead of sticking both of them together, I uh, used it as a tuck spot. And then this is one of the pages that I shrunk down to 80%. So it makes a nice tag. And then there's a coat wrap. Did some stamping. Another tuck spot. tuck spot this was from the downloads more coffee stained paper another digital image this is an image from an old book and then it also comes with envelopes so I um, used it in my binding and then this is a project life card and this is a uh, tag that I coffee stained These tickets were from the download, and so was this one. And I used it for a tuck spot. Here I added a flower and another uh, I Am Roses flower, some lace, some butterfly stamps. Beautiful images. Another paper clip, 
and this ticket is also from the downloads. This ticket was from the downloads. And then this is what you what the back and front looks like if you uh, attach them together. Here's an envelope and then here's another um, download. This bingo card is also a download. And I just used it on both sides for a tuck spot. And this is also another page that I shrunk at 80% for a tag. I just have a plain printer. And um, halfway through I decided to try the high resolution printing. So I, can't, I couldn't really tell the difference. is a rub on an old one it didn't rub off very well but it's a junk journal so I'm okay with that another envelope and another tag from the download and then just beautiful images another one here and this one I attached to the bottom the back of this page and it's flips out and this is another download hopefully I'm still in frame download. This is a, just pretty. I don't know if you can see but there's that's a doily in the paper. And then more graph paper and then there's the back and this is how I created the closure and this is how it closes and that's the back of the book. So there was a few questions on um, how I do a few things so I'll try and quickly go through them for the paper clips um, all I do is I I put both my ribbons in like this and then I put both tails in through the loop and then I pull on them and then this is um, glossy accents I usually just put a little drop in there so that they don't come apart. Oh, I put a little too much there. But that's what I do with it. And then they dry and they're good to go. So that's how I use that. I just want to show you guys, I did, I, I printed the digital download on um, a book. This is music, a book that I bought at the secondhand store. So all I did is I ripped a sheet out and I printed it on this music paper. And doesn't it look great? That's the back. And then you just trim that and you, uh, you use it in. And this is what some of the downloads, like once you trim it, that's what the size you get. So I used a few of the sheets to make my tabs, but I would, um, I then somebody asked what I, how I attached them. So what I did is I, I stamped my images on the plain side, then I have my template, and then I just poked my holes for my binding. And that's how I attach my, then I put all the pages together and that's how I attached it. So 
that's that. So that's the download there. And this is on the regular white card stock. So this is what it looks like without the digital. This is with it on. Then just before taping, I tried it on coffee stain paper. So I ran this through my printer after it was coffee stained. And I usually iron my papers because I like to journal on them, so I like them flat. And then this is a music sheet that looks like this before coffee stain, before I printed, and now this. And I think it looks great, and this would make a really, really nice pages. And then you've got the coffee stain on the back. So, And this is the one, this is what it would look like with before you print it on it. So that's how I do that. Now for this book, I did my cover with um, chipboard and I just scored it and then I folded it and that's, and then I covered this with white cardstock. And I probably won't do that again because it, my white cardstock really cracked. So, Give me that box there. So if you don't use a pre-made box, then I would suggest like my other journal I used, I used this and this didn't crack. So I recycled this. So if you're not, if you don't have anything to recycle, this is what I would do. This is crack or Tyvek. Tyvek is 10 by 13 envelopes and I buy them at Staples or Christie's office supplies and they don't rip. A lot of people get mail in these, so that's what I use. So I usually lay that like that. And then here's my spine piece. And I have score tape on this. So you just peel it all off. And this is thin chipboard. And then I just tape it on here. And then for this one, I'll use one eighth of an inch uh, score tape for my spacing. But if uh, my, my photo albums that I make, I usually use a quarter inch spacing or a half inch. And then I peel my score tape off the covers and I stick it down like that. And like that. And then I just use cardstock and I try and leave about an inch all the way around. This is eight and a half by 11, so it's a little bit uh, small, but I will join them. And then I put my cardstock, my chipboard on like this, and then I fold them over and I miter my corners. So that's how I cover my covers. And then I do also a layer on the inside, and then I use my pattern paper and mat my inside. So that's how I do my covers. So I hope that helps, and this will keep it, if it cracks, it won't, um, it won't go any farther than, than the Tyvek. It'll go as far as this, and then it, it'll stay like that. And uh, once you cover it, you'll peel these off so that your sheet on top will cover that up. It'll go on top like this. I learned making this uh, from a scrapbooking lady by the name of Kathy Orda. She does have YouTube videos out and if you are interested you will find how she covers her photo albums. I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I really enjoyed making the this, um, this project and I hope you try it. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.